Hey guys, this is Godzilla Tommy. Um, I don't have an unboxing today, but uh, I went to Best Buy, picked up quite a bit of stuff. Um, Best Buy has a upgrade and save deal going on right now. I believe it goes until March 11th. You bring in a DVD, you get a five dollar off coupon for any Blu-ray 10.99 or up, or I'm sorry, 9.99 or up. So I picked up a few movies. Uh, funny thing is, is I only used, in, I tried to use five coupons and they only used like three of them, but oh well, you know what, I still walked away with pretty much what I wanted. I think the only thing else I would have rather, that I would have loved to have also gotten would have been um, Prometheus in 3D Blu-ray, but I'm not worried about that, That I can pick that up at a later day, or Iron Man too. But, um, let's show off what I picked up today. So, let's start off with stuff that people probably don't care about. So this will be the first one. Um, I still have yet to see the first movie, but the first movie is on Netflix, so I'll probably just sit on marathon all three of them. Um, I picked this movie up. I watched it on uh, Disney XD one day. <coughs> Sorry, I've been coming down with a little something. A little nasal cold or something. And um, I watched these movies on Disney XD one day. And the reason I picked it up is because um, one of my favorite actresses and actu one of my favorite actress uh, actresses acted... I you know what I mean. Female actor. One of my favorite female actors. And probably, definitely one of my favorite female singers. I was about to say my favorite, but I don't know. It kind of goes back and forth some days to Taylor Swift. So I picked this up. Not a lot of people really probably care about this. Um, Selena Gomez is in both these movies. So I picked these up because I really enjoyed her. And I did see these movies. Um, the second one was... Was actually they were actually really interesting movies. Actually, I I kind of I actually enjoyed them. The first movie was um, actually Selena Gomez's character was played by Madonna in the first movie, and in the second and third, played by Selena Gomez. In the second movie, she literally has like two lines. Um, and you can see here's the actors: um, Freddie Highmore from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Chocolate Factory, sorry. He returns, and uh, see Snoop Dogg, Will I Am, Furry. And Selena Gomez. Like I said, Selena Gomez kind of only has a really like a couple lines in the second movie. She's more or less in flashbacks. Um, and it's not like flashbacks to the first movie either. It's like flashbacks to literally the second. And this this is it says fifteen bucks, but it was literally it was on sale for um, five dollars. And I get the second and third movie, which is the ones I want the most. I can just go watch the first one on Netflix. So been taking a little too long. It's going to be like a 15 minute video. I apologize. Trying to get this sticker on. I hate when I have stickers left over. I hate stickers. So I haven't... I will have an unboxing coming soon. Um, I get paid pretty soon. And there is the... If people have been paying attention, uh, there is a crap ton of steel books on Amazon right now. Like a bunch of the... Previous, I'm sorry, my camera kind of just switched there because I'm trying to take this off and it's getting a little pain in the ass. Um, a lot of the Best Buy exclusive, where I put the paper, a lot of the Best Buy exclusive Blu rays that um, Warner Brothers has released, um, Amazon got a hold of. So I will be having, I will probably pick up a crap ton of those. So here's the back. Of course, there's a freaking sticker right there. Go on. So let me open it up, make sure there's no digital copy. Here's disc two. The War of Two Worlds, Arthur Three, Arthur, um, Arthur Two, and that her her name is, I believe, Princess Selena, Selenia, something, something like that. And oh, this little paper thing on the back it just says Arthur Two. I'm guessing it just says Arthur Three on the back here. No, um, she really has nothing to do with the second movie, in all honesty, but. Both movies are on the Blu-ray disc. So there's that. Next movie is a movie that I have not yet seen, and uh, I picked this up because I, you know, I only had a lot of money because I traded some games in uh, to get money at Best Buy. And the next movie, I'm gonna start opening. Uh, I have not seen. I missed it when I was on Netflix. And I always hear really good things about it, so I picked this up. I was gonna get it for three dollars, but I ended up paying like six bucks for it. So um, it's Easy A, and with uh, Emma Stone. I, I, I really enjoy Emma Stone. Emma Stone's a very great actor. I enjoy her work. And uh, I've always been meaning to see this movie. I never got a chance to. 
It's got one of these safety lock things on here. Let me make sure there's no codes. There's a coupon for nothing, but Amanda Bynes when she was attractive. A lot of people, are, uh, if, if if you know what I mean, they've seen that new photo of her and she got the body, but the face. Oh God, the face. The hell happened. So the next movie is a movie that I always really enjoyed ever since I like, first saw it in the theaters with my dad and that would be the day after tomorrow and I had my nail clipper but I lost it oh there it is use my nail clipper a little sharp in there see I do a really bad job at unboxing videos and I apologize but I keep forgetting I have a camera stand I need to like whip that out I don't have anything to set it on though so that's why I don't usually use it Sorry. It says, I like how it says, like, the day after tomorrow, widescreen. Back in the, the, the good old days where you could buy full screen or widescreen. They, they'd crop it in full screen. That was back in the days where I didn't know, you know, widescreen was the better, better end of it. That was, that was in the days where I was like, I don't want to watch Black Bart. The kid. I was just like, black bars, fuck that shit. It's just Blu-ray disc. Back cover. Fix that. I don't know if I showed you guys the back cover of EZA. Yeah, I'm a stone, what a hottie. Show the back cover of that. So, okay, let's see. The next movie, I got this for five bucks. This actually used my coupon. And it is The Woman in Black. I got this because this always looked like an interesting movie. I did... I have heard some things about it. I've heard that it's it's all right, and then I've also heard it's kind of a pass. But you know what? I got it for five bucks, so I'm okay with that. And of course, I don't know if I can use my nail clipper with this. There we go. That works. Sitting on seven minutes already, yeah. A little bit of shrinker up on the side, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So here's the back. Demise! Special features, not really a lot. An ultraviolet code in here, so let me take that out. Woman in black. I really love Blu rays that have artwork in the inside. I love those. So let's put that ultraviolet code back in there. I like to get slipcases with my movie too. A lot of people might not like slipcases. A lot of people actually throw them away, but I love slipcases. I, I actually kind of hate when I get a Blu-ray that doesn't come with one. But you know, they're usually more money with a slipcase than probably. So, the next movie I'm gonna do because kind of want to save the other two for last. Um, this movie was thirty dollars. I actually got it for twelve because I had the coupon for five dollars off, and then I also had like a ten dollar coupon. I don't know if I got like a percentage off or something of some of this stuff, but it's Resident Evil Retribution, which marks the last Resident Evil movie that I needed into my collection. So now I own all of them, which makes me very happy. Even though this was probably like this. Probably the second worst in the series. I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it, but could have been a lot better. Afterlife was definitely the best. In my opinion, I don't know, I really liked Afterlife. Probably because the 3D was really good, too. Um, then 2. Then 1. No, this, yeah, then this one, and then then, then 3. Because 3 is god-awful. I'm sorry. I could be using this again. I keep turning the camera on. You guys are probably getting really annoyed if you're watching this on your phones or something. 
one bad thing about Sony is, is like even though I don't usually use the DVD copies, it would be kind of nice to get a DVD copy. Uh, you spend another thirty dollars on it. I mean, look at Prometheus was on sale for twenty bucks, and you get you get three D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD copy, digital copy, and you like all this stuff. So I'm gonna open this up because I know there's a ultraviolet in here. So let me pull this out. Resident Evil CX, best game in the series. Oh yeah. That movie was terrible. If you've ever seen Damnation, in my opinion, that movie was god awful. Degeneration wasn't too bad though. Okay, let's just look at your codes. This is the special features. And this is the 3D Blu-ray. So special features 3D Blu-ray. Let's take the discs out. I'm gonna switch the discs up a little bit here. Once I throw out the ultraviolet code, once I use it, you know, it'll be the first disc, so. Okay, there's more stickers I'll have to take off the things later, but. This is the biggest and best Resident Evil yet. I don't think so. Alright, so next, I'm trying to complete my Marvel Phase 1. So the next movie in my collection is. Thor. It says 40 bucks. God, way too expensive for 3D Thor, but it was on sale for 30 so. And this was the only one with a slipcover, too. I almost didn't buy it because I didn't have a slipcover. I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm that person. I don't want to spend $30 and not get a slipcover. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I just feel like I deserve a slipcover, damn it. I almost didn't get Thor, because I was like, when the guy told me about the coupon thing, they were like, oh no, it's off of the, like the price tag on, on the case, so I was like, $40, I don't have enough to fucking spend $40, it would have went out to 35 and it ended up not being off the price tag, so boo fucking yeah, ended up walking away with pretty much everything I wanted, even with more than I didn't think I'd get, so here's the 3D Blu-ray, which will be moved to a different spot, because I don't want it there. Here's the DVD, which will be moved over here. <laughs> and here is the Blu-ray, which will be moved here. So I got a digital copy here. Uh, for PC, I kind of wish it was ultraviolet, but I can put it on my Windows. It says Windows Media Player, so I can put it on my phone still. So that's the other side of the digital copy, which is the normal Blu-ray cover, so that's kind of cool. I like how the 3D Blu-ray comes in a different cover. Makes it really cool. So, uh, here's the back. This is actually probably the worst movie in the Marvel Phase 1, in my opinion, but I still, you know, I want to own them all. And then, a lot, for a lot of people, this is probably the second worst. I don't know, I haven't seen The Incredible Hulk in a long time, but I remember I really enjoyed it, so... Captain America. Eh... A lot of people don't like Iron Man 2, I forgot about that, never mind. I never had a problem with it. Iron Man 3 was pretty good too. I thought Iron Man 3 was a great movie, it was probably definitely, it was definitely better than the second one. And then, in my opinion, it was, I don't know, in my opinion it was better than the first one. Like, but story-wise, the first one was really damn good. I don't know, they just really fucked up Iron Man 3 though with the Mandarin, holy shit. And this was the only one with Captain America with a slipcover, too. I should just say that. Let me... Oh, actually, it didn't even... This is the original cover of the Blu-ray. And this is sitting at, like, 14 minutes. Hopefully, this will upload. I don't think there's a time limit anymore. So here is the 3D Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray disc. Now, this is how I wish Thor was. This is exactly the order I wanted. So there's that. Back cover. Same. Alright, guys, so that is my Best Buy pickups for the day. Picked up a lot of shit, and it was all from me just trading some games that I didn't even want anymore. Used some coupons, traded some DVDs that I already had on Blu ray, or DVDs that I just didn't want, or I mean, one of them I traded in was Devil Inside. That movie was terrible, so it's alright. 
But anyways, I am going to go freaking watch, I think I'm going to go watch Captain America. I haven't watched that movie in a while, and I'd really like to watch it. Last time I watched it was, like, illegally downloaded from my freaking PSP. Hey, you know what? I bought it. So, I'm still a good Samaritan? I'm, good, I'm a good American. Huh? When you download something illegally, you, as long as you eventually buy it, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go freaking watch my movies. I will catch you guys later.